Mrs. Ree. It's Mrs. Kemish. It's a really hot sunny day today and I'm going to read you a story and it's called Farmyard Hullabaloo and I'm outside in the garden with the animals so you might hear the chickens or you might see the bunnies or you might see the dog walk past because this story is all about animals that live on a farm. Are you sitting comfortably and ready for our story? It says Early in the morning, as the sun begins to rise, the pigs are feeling hungry and they're snorting in their sties. The rooster wakes the farm up with a cock a doo doo The sheepdog won't stop barking and the cows begin to moo. There's a stomping in the stables and there's bleating in the barn, so let's climb aboard the tractor and explore this noisy farm. So are you ready? We're going to go and see what animals we can see in the farm. It's a rooster! And he goes, cock a doo doo cock a doo doo I'm the rocking rooster baby, tell me who are you? And then we have the chickens. We chickens are covered with feathers all over our wings and our legs, so of course we could fly if we wanted to try, but we're too busy laying these eggs. <laughs> and this is a big moo cow. Sometimes I moo when I'm chewing, I hope you don't think that it's rude, but mooing and chewing are what I like doing. Do you moo when you chew your food? There's a big, beautiful cow. And we have a sheepdog. Can you see the little dog? I'm the farmer's old sheepdog, his faithful and loyal best friend. I've been by his side from the day I was born and I'll stay with him right to the end. Then we have the cat. Meow. Hello, I'm the far fat farmyard kitty. I sleep in the shade of the house, but I always keep one eye half open to spot every passing plump mouse. Oh, they might catch a mouse. And then we have the piggies. <laughs> I love looking after my piglets and watching them wriggle and squill. They clamber all over each other all day to snuffle around for a meal. And she has lots of little baby piggies. Piglets, they're called. Donkey. Eeyaw. It's wonderful being a donkey. I simply spend hours and hours just wandering around on the soft grassy ground, sniffing the sweet-smelling flowers. <laughs> then you have a turkey. I've got these funny floppy things that hang down from my neck. They dangle when I gobble and they wobble when I peck. Then we have some geese. They're very noisy geese. We waddle about in the paddock and make such a din when we talk. Then we sound like a bunch of old ladies who gossip and cackle and squawk. And they go squawk, squawk. And we have a sheep. Can you see the beautiful white sheep? I've got a lovely fluffy fleece, which makes me very proud. So I skip around my meadow, make believing I'm a cloud. <laughs> then we have a goat. I sometimes hang out by the sheep pen, trotting into my beard. Sheep often think that they're better than us, but goats never need to be sheared. So they don't need a haircut, but sheep definitely do. Then we have a cart horse. There's nothing like hay when you're hungry. It's lovely to munch a whole bale. But sometimes I stop for a clippity clop or to flick a few flies with my tail. Oh, that sounds noisy cockadoodle, isn't it? Oh, this is a big bull, so he's a daddy cow. I love to snort steam from my nostrils. It makes me look angry and tough. And then I start scraping my hoof on the ground if that isn't scary enough. Oh, that's a very scary face. Now it's night time. We have some animals that come out in the night. First we have a fox. I wait in the wood until nightfall, then down to the farmyard I creep, because nothing looks quite as delicious as chickens have fallen asleep. Ow. I always hunt at night time, and I sleep throughout the day. Twit woo, twit woo, you'll hear me cry, out searching for my prey. Beautiful owl. Now it's night time on the farmyard, and the moon is shining bright. It's time to leave the animals and wave them all good night. The cows are feeling drowsy. They settle on the ground. It won't be very long now till they're sleeping safe and sound. The horse is in his stable and the hens are in their shed. But the sheepdog's fallen fast asleep inside the farmer's bed. And that is the end of our story. And I'm sorry about Mr. Cockadoodaloo. He's very noisy next to me, isn't he? I don't know if you can see him. Or you might be able to just see him. He's making a big noise, isn't he? Oh, making a big noise. Anyway, I'll see you soon, nursery. Take care. Bye.